Kevin, is I was like, I should get a scarlet shirt on. And then I realized I don't have a scarlet shirt. <laughs> and uh, and I was like, you know what? Um, but yeah, okay, so let's let, let's just talk really quickly. H hello, everybody. Why am I shouting? Why am I shouting? Uh, hello, everybody. Hello, I see you all. Hello, hello, good day, good day. Um, all right, so I did an interview. I think I don't know if you heard the interview I did with um I kind of hate my scalp pitches. Um I did an interview uh, with a guitar player, um, Alan, from um, Uncle John's band, and we talked briefly about this song, and I asked him what color he thinks of when he solos, and he said scarlet. And does anybody remember, if you listen, what color I think of? For some reason, when I'm playing this song, the, the mood of the song, the mood of the solo, uh, I think of a very certain color. Yeah. <laughs> Scarlet Moon is purple haze. That's like any any. I'm I'm seeing if you know. You can guess, but I'll, I'll tell you because uh, it's it, it it's in my brain every time. Not hot pink. I'm no not not 1980s. Uh, hey slime bread. Hey Matt. Um, not 1980s. Ian. No, no. Uh, mm. uh it's actually blue and purple. Blue and purple. So I wore my my oh uh, blue. There you go. Blue. Blue and purple is the jam for me. Now, uh, I I'm playing my my Fred. Um. What was that? My friend, uh, copy of oh, Jeff Good. I am live. Um, and, uh, I just broke a string on uh, the Jerry Garcia guitar. So I was like, ah, oh, broke a string. So I can't play that. One. So I'm playing this one today. All right. So really quickly, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some questions I had about, um, Hey Jeff, Jeff, I just saw you text me. So you're, you're good. Um, and, uh, we're going to talk about the Scarlet Begonias, uh, questions. We're going to hear your questions. Then I'm going to answer some, um, excuse me, some questions about, um, the stitch method workshop. I got, I got a lot of people signed up, which is awesome. I can't like, thank you so much. Uh, but there's still questions out there and I haven't emailed like, I don't know, about 6,000 people that I need to still email. It takes a long time. All right. So I'm just going to go through, Hey, Jared, I know you're here. You gave me the, uh, the fire symbol on fire. Thank you so much. This is, uh, the, I'm reading the comments and questions uh, about the Scarlet, uh, begonias, uh, lesson. How do you get the best Jerry tone? I don't know. I, I, somebody says I get really good Jerry tone. I just play and I play my Fred uh, Bolt guitar and it's it's an awesome guitar and I put in the settings where I think it sounds. Yeah, uh, I, have <laughs> I have like 8,000 emails, if not more, <laughs> from from people signing up and I want to let them know. So, um, so um, that's how I do it. Okay, this is wondering if you can go over the intro riff. Oh, you know what? I, I can break it down, but I never, um, you know, uh, uh, who is that for? Um, Gary. Gary, you know, I didn't have time to break the intro riff down. Um, maybe my next live lesson, I'll get to it, and I apologize, but it was something I wanted to do today. But I had, uh, I've been having mad air conditioning problems all week long, and today I had to take apart my entire AC system while I was on the phone with an AC guy who was, like, walking me through it. So it was kind of like the Matrix and Neo. Um, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Much love. Thank you. Um, okay, so somebody said, like, is this a 251? And I got to say, 
I I don't see the 251. I can totally understand where a 251 would come from. So let's have a little quick like stitch method review here. You know, we have the, the, the chords E, B, and A. And I totally understand. I totally understand how well. Can you see like the B being the two, the E being the five, and the A being the one? And if you're dealing with root notes and root notes only, we can see that. In the key of A, we have A is the one, B is the two, C sharp three, D four, E five. And so we have B being the two, E being the uh, the five, and A being the one. But what's the problem here that, that I see? Yes, there we go, Kevin. Kevin just, the two, it would need to be a minor because in, in every key, in every key, uh, the one chord is major, right? The two chord is minor. The three chord is minor, the four chord is major, the five chord is major, and the six chord is minor, seven diminished. So if this was a two, it'd need to start on a B minor, but it starts on the B major. So we have a major a set of three chords, which when you look at it, you can be like, well, it's E, A, and B. I mean, that's 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 a one, four, five, and E. So it's E major all day long. I got a lot of comments also saying, is it B mixolydian? Well, the famous riff, you know, that... that uh, that thing is a B mixolydian riff on top of the B chord, but nonetheless, B mixolydian is still the same exact uh, mode as E major. Um, let's see, Ch -ch -ch do another awesome. Um, uh, Doggy, if you're here, Doggy, there you are. <laughs> Doggy, I will, I'm will. i gonna be looking really hard at Ophelia um, and we'll see what we can do there. Um, Ch -ch -ch how do you play the phrasing? Do you have a tab for the solo? Okay, so a lot. I got two emails and one request on, on um, on the comments, I'm going to make, um, hopefully maybe tomorrow, tonight, I don't know, I'm gonna make a, a backing track of the chords slowed down because I told you, you know, um, if you bought the charts, you don't have to buy them, but if you bought them, you're learning the E's, A's, and B's in three places, you know, and, and, and so you wanna take your time being able to play. Those chords. So I'm going to slow down a backing track of it because the chords do change so very fast. And so I'll play I'll play a um, a loop of it and just kind of say here are the chords so you can practice going nice and slow. Okay. Um, because Jerry Jerry knew what he was doing. Um, uh, this is from D Dermont Woods. Thank you for the compliment. Um, yeah. This this is wondering if you could play a, a loop or a shout out the chords. And that's what I was just talking about. That's from Gary. Um, there's a you go in detail how Jerry so. Okay. Um. You know, I have a question here by Chris about Jerry's vocal um, vocal melodies. And the thing is, I'm going to be doing a video about that. Um, so, Chris Binder, I see your question. I just can't answer it in a live feed in a half hour. It takes a long time to answer. Uh, great song, another amazing video. Thank you. Um, yeah, again, here's another comment. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to say, like, uh, <laughs> where would I rate my beard? Ugh. Well, on the, on the scale of one to God. Uh, I'd say infinity minus one, if that works out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. Um, let's see, really quickly, I got into because of you. I'm, I'm just reading the questions. I love your videos. Refreshing. Thank you. Uh, okay, and um, okay, so somebody asked also, like, uh, slide shapes, the ending, the B before the return. That was quick, way too quick. Strings one, two, and three. Uh, Jared, I think Jared was talking about this. Um, it, it, we were talking about this thing, like... That thing, Jared, because that's what this question is, is love the two note chord walkups. Would you call them the sixth chords? Okay. So I have a problem. And for all of you that are here, the problem is, is that I don't like the, um, I, I really don't like the term sixths, like sliding six, like this thing. Like if you guys have seen a little bit of stitch method, um, that, that is, um, it's really just thirds. It's, it's the third of a chord. Whoa, John, John, thank you. You don't have to do. That was very nice of you, John. Uh, thank you. Okay. I'm going to buy something with that and I'll show you the receipt. Um, thank you very much, John. Uh, this, this isn't, you know, these aren't six. I understand how somebody say, well, okay, you're playing, um, you're playing a G sharp and the sixth of G sharp is E. And it's like, no, it's just, a, this is a piece of an E chord. And when you're in the key of something, key of blank, right? Key of E, uh, all the chords are going to work um, as little fills. And I know, I know, Listen, I know that not a lot of you, or maybe some of you are fans of the band Fish. You don't have to be, okay? Um, but I talk about it. I have a very, like, it's like my smallest fish video about soloing on top of a song called Yamar. And I talk about how he takes all of the chords within the key, 
Like, you are nice, John. You're very nice. Uh, he takes all of the chords within the key and breaks them down into their pieces and just plays them. And it works because if you're playing stuff within a key, it's always going to sound good. So what this is, is this is just an E chord here. Okay? It, but it's just the major third, the G sharp, and the E. And what happens here is everyone guesses, like, well, what is this? And when you look at this, this is an E. This is the one chord. The two chord in the key of E is F sharp minor, and that's what this is. Now, if I played an F sharp minor chord like this, and all my chunky hands, my middle fingers pointing at you, you see that I'm playing these two guys here. All right? And then when I get to here, what's such a cool, smooth move about this is this is the E, this is the F sharp, and everybody's going to say, well, isn't this a C sharp minor? And the answer is no, because it actually turns into the D-shaped E chord right here. But you're just playing these two here. This is a very common move by Jerry Garcia. He does it in um, They Love Each Other. You know, uh, you hear him. And what that is, that's the G to the A minor slid chromatically into another G. Ah, there we go, yes. <laughs> Robert Wilson, that's what I'm talking about. They love each other. This move, he's ending up on a G chord here. He, can, he, he almost is going... But really, it's 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 from you're walking from this G to this G. Very similar stuff in all, of, and not on all of Jerry Garcia's playing. Uh, but yeah, it's such a great move. So when you're playing, you know the idea is you see this E shaped this E shaped E chord walked up in these thirds of the chords within the key, and then getting to the next shape. And you'll see this in all of his stuff. It is brilliant. Not me, I mean it, Jerry. Jerry's brilliant, right? And so when you're playing, like, there it is. Did I explain that well? Was it, did that help that helped out? I mean, like it's, it's it's a great move. Check out Ian's video on the cage chord system for more. That's right, Lucas, you're my hype man. Um, and the other question was, um, the other question is the, the F sharp is in the chorus, but not the jam. The F sharp chord is actually in the uh, bridge, like. <laughs> But yeah, but that, that's the uh, that's the F sharp. All right. Um, so I hope that made sense. Oh, I have more stuff to do here. Um, hold on. I'm very ill prepared. No, that was all the questions. Okay. So now I answer the little questions on the comments. Any questions you have about Scarlet Begonias before I just need to uh, talk about the Stitch Method Guitar Workshop, which is happening in December. And I have had a lot of questions, so I'm just going to address it. Um, I really want to get something aside a Strat to play. I want to get something beside a Strat to play. Um, yeah, you want something with humbuckers, Lucas. So what is the proper terminology for them? Oh, okay. Honestly, okay, great. Okay, Dean, bing, hit it. You know, what is this thing? What is a, you know, what is this? These are just um, double stops of chords. They're just chord double stops within the key. But when somebody says we're using the sixth, we're going to climb in sixths, you kind of know what they're talking about. And so if somebody says, hey, we're going to be doing some sixth slides, and it's all over the place. You just want to realize, okay, six slides. What the hell does that mean? Oh, yeah, that's the that's the double stops within um within the key, right? And so um so here we go. Like you know, in the key of G, I'll show it to you, okay? Like you're talking about the the notes on the E and the G string, G major, A minor, B minor, uh, C major, D major, E minor, and the best part is uh, you have F sharp diminished, which is the, this is the same interval, right? Let's make sure on uh, F sharp. No, no, no. Uh, F, yeah, F sharp, and here's the. There it is. Sorry, I had to do that. I had to, I had to move it for the F sharp. Sorry. Yes, Nashville scale type stuff. It is like Nashville scale type stuff. It's just done on these two strings here. 
Okay. And so, okay. Any other questions? I'm going to actually have a sip of the coffee, coffee. I shouldn't be having caffeine this late, but I have so much to do. So much. Uh, I, I guess we're good. No more questions. All right. I'll see you guys later. I'm kidding. All right. Mm. Yeah, that's good. All right. So let's talk uh, briefly. Um, oh, I'm, I'm glad you got it, Mark. That's awesome. Um, I'll let you keep on asking questions about Scarlet, but I just want to answer some questions about the Stitch Method Workshop. Here are some questions that I've gotten. Is it acoustic or electric? Do you have any tips for a newly hatched 21-year-old? Uh, what? A newly hatched? Like playing guitar? Just practice. Just pr Oh, wait. you. Oh, happy birthday. Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> happy birthday, Lucas. Everyone, I, I think that's what I picked up. If I'm not mistaken, I could be an idiot. But I think it, it was Lucas's birthday yesterday. And Lucas has been a subscriber since the very beginning. So hats off to you, Lucas. Happy birthday. I hope that um, you get a guitar. Uh, <laughs> hope that, yeah, I just tell your parents like, Hey, where's that guitar that you're supposed to get me? But I didn't see it yesterday. Right. All right. So, um, all right. So the first, first thing is, uh, uh, the question I get a lot is, um, is it acoustic or electric? It's both, uh, it's going to be unplugged, but you're going to have time to plug in. I might call you up on stage and say, okay, let's do a little jam together. Um, uh, Hey, did you get my request for uh, the workshop? No, I didn't Don. No, Don email me again. If you email me, did you email me or text me, Don? I haven't seen you in a while, Don. I miss you, buddy. So email me. Um, so, um, yeah, so it's either acoustic or electric. The other thing is people are like, oh, can we pay in, inst in installments? Yeah, of course. Like, it, yeah, if you want to pay in installments, absolutely. You don't I'll, I, I've done it for about four people. I'm sending them links like once a month and then that's it. Um, another question is, actually, those are the two questions. Um, to make a long story short, it's going to be an awesome workshop and it's just, you're, you're going to learn how to pretty much do an in the mind of stitch on any sort of musical venture that you have, whether it's a song that you're working on or whether that's a song that you're writing. And that's the whole entire idea from improv to all this stuff and, and really seeing how important it is to re re visualize the guitar with a very new perspective. Um, and then I follow it up. Like I said, another question was, uh, the follow-up, um, Skype or FaceTime lessons occur about three to four months out. Cause you're getting a binder with like tons of, of information that you're going to, you know, that I'm typing out, but you're going to hear my voice in it and you get to answer questions and you get to work with me uh, and ask the questions and make sure that we got, got it going. So uh, plans for visiting P and W Pacific Northwest. Sure. Yes. I took a couple seconds to get that. Uh, yeah, I, I would, I've definitely come to the Pacific Northwest. I mean, my, my whole goal is to try and get this thing mobile up and running and like meet people and share my enthusiasm for guitar and, and help people like succeed at this instrument. You know um, I got a, I called the guy today who, you know, he was so nice. Um, I don't know if he's watching Roger, but I talked to this guy, Roger, and um, he, he he was saying how, like, you know, and I'm not trying to sound, like, conceited, but he said after watching Stitch Method for a while, it, it really it really helped click, and he's coming to the workshop, and he's very, very excited, and, uh, you know, that's what it's all about. Is I, I just want people to realize, like, I'm I'm there to show you it's a lot easier than you think it is. Uh, Jeff Good, Jeff Good, rumor is Jeff Good right here will be appearing at the workshop as my special TA. Maybe. Um, all right. Any other questions for me before we start like descending? We're cruising altitude, but you know, uh, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Any any questions of uh, music theory uh, stuff? Anything? These live lessons are way more informative and valuable than I'm than uh, than most I attend. I'm amazed there are only seven seven people. It's okay. What's gonna happen, uh, Mac John Four? Is people watch this and they complain about how much I talk. So when you're here live, it's worth it, right? So. <laughs> um, Let's see. Is that why they're better? Because you can somewhat manage a small group. Yeah. I mean, like I've done workshops before and I'm, I love being, I love speaking in public. I love, uh, you know, I can really handle, I, I, I can, um, I can kind of like see really quickly if a crowd is getting it or not. And I love explaining it and I love explaining it clearly and letting everyone know, like, you know, there's no such thing as a stupid question, you know? And I think it's, uh, I think what it comes down to, it's the fear of asking a question or fear of thinking that like you're unique in your like um, inability to grasp something. But really this workshop is going to show every person, like these are all the questions you guys are asking. Look how same, look how similar you are. Let's get through it. Okay. So uh, in Scarlet, when it goes to the B for a couple of bars, can I play Mixolydian? Oh, okay. So um, the question for Scarlet is in Scarlet, when it goes to the B for a couple of bars, can I play Mixolydian? Well, here's the question. Okay. I'm going to explain this. You're already playing B Mixolydian and I'm going to address you as I sell. Give me, give me one second, Mac John. Okay. Um, well, thank you. I'm just going to, I'm reading, uh, I don't know her, the, the comment, him and her comments right here. Um, 
in Scarlet, yes, you're already playing B Mixolydian. E major is B Mixolydian. Like, that's it. E, e is the one. B is the five. So if you play an E major scale, if you play an E major scale starting on the five, like this, here's your one, two, three, four, five. That's the major scale. Then you just play the, the E major scale. Really, Ian? Oh, my God. There is the, uh, the B Mixolydian. But since you're already in that scale anyway, what you kind of want to do, and thank you, by the way, for asking this question, because I forgot to address it, and I wanted to, which is in the key of E, can anyone tell me what does the five chord extend to? Like what kind of extended chord is the B chord if you wanted to extend it? If you wanted to give it a chord extension, ah, Lucas for the win. Somebody should get you a goddamn guitar for your birthday, Lucas you're doing good it's a seventh chord it's a b7 b7 and so you know i in that chart i wanted to keep it concise it's a pretty big chart but you know here up here is a b chord and wherever you can find the root two frets down is your flat seven and so if you can see your chord tones ah, then you can kind of get a flare of the b7 which a dominant seventh chord is just a condensed version of a mixolydian. So watch for this. You're gonna watch for um this is a B this is a B7 chord right here. So let's see how it sounds when I really focus on that. Now you can hear when you punch the chord tones, when you punch those chord tones, you really hear it. And uh, one of my favorite guitar players right there, Trey Anastasio, it's one of his favorite moves, like, you know, where he's really kind of sitting on the seventh chord. So to answer your question, you're already in mixolydian, but if you really want to get uh, that feel, you can punch the B7 chords. So I'm just going to scroll up here for a second. I apologize. I missed some things, okay? Um, okay, is Mixodorian like a better major minor? Oh, yeah, I have a, I have a video on Mixodorian coming out, Lucas. And it's gonna slaughter the major minor. Um, yeah. Well, the thing is, is that major minor have um, you know, they're the they're the starting blocks, like major minor, major minor. They're the starting blocks of music, and the pillar and the pyramid of music is built upon them. And right about here, you get this, you know, Mixolydian and Dorian. This just these two different takes, right? These two different takes on major minor, and uh, they appear more in rock. Um, than anything else, right? Because like when you listen to classical music, right? Just to let you know, you hear like, oh, this is a, you know, the clouds of thunder in A minor, right? And that 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 really just lets you know is to tell you like when you opened up and you're looking, okay, this is a sad song. But what you don't see a lot of is this is a uh, clouds of thunder in B Dorian, right? Because they wouldn't say that. They would just say it's it's the darkness of thunder. And what I'm trying to say here is when music was was being played, major minor took the cake. And as rock and roll and modern music started to take shape, people started playing with modes, and Mixolydian and Dorian kind of really sealed the cake on rock. I will keep on talking here. Uh, well, I subscribe to many, many guitar-related channels, and this is the only one I click on immediately when I see a live feed. Uh, so well done. Thank you, Mac John. That's very kind of you. Any uh, uh, upcoming courses on Udemy? Yes and no. I have a whole new business venture. I mean, like, you know, I've been on YouTube for, like, two years now, and it's like, it, it went by so fast and there's so much to do. And you, I know that you guys are waiting, like we want more or is there more? And to me, it's, it's like a blink of an eye, but you guys are like, well, it's been two years, you know? Um, yeah, I have more stuff coming out, whether it will be on Udemy or not is the question. Um, let's see. So we're going to do, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. Okay, Red House. Yes, I love seven chords. Which is the Mixolydian note? Which uh, It's the flat seven and the major third, Jeff. And so when you're looking for... Like in a B chord or B7 here, major third and flat seven, which is really a triad. Wait, is, okay, so now, um, Red House, I heard, yeah, you heard Red House. Actually, it's, there it is. Never it Never it is. Uh, I know Jeff. Sorry. Let's see. Hi, Mixodorian are just the major and minor swapping the sixes and sevens. Yes, absolutely right. Can you play a, over a one four five thinking modally? Um, one Ionian, four Mixolydian, and five Lydian and major. Now, traveling Riverside Blues Johnson. I want to talk. That's a great question. I gotta watch the time really quickly. That is such a great question. Okay. Um, 
the question is yes, but why? And you can, because when the one chord comes, you're in Ionian. When the four chord comes, well, you can go to blank Lydian, but it's still the same exact scale as the Ionian. It's also the same exact thing um, as the Mixolydian. Like, you know, these are called relative modes. But the thing is, is you can, and when you do that, you kind of start to punch the chord tones better because when you when you were changing to blank Lydian, you are hitting the one, three, and five of the chord tones and you're setting yourself up for success and bonding that because you're pretty much thinking about it. But the idea is, is they're all the same scale. They're all the same. And if you know where your chords are, it usually gets tastier. Um, it's it, that, that question I, I should address on a real video because it's a great question. It's just how far in and how far out do you want to go on the microscope? And I wish I can answer more, but I get going soon. Okay. So, uh, I was saying the B flat. Oh, oh, oh what note? Okay. Um, Oh, uh, a, A, A is the flat seven. Sorry. Uh, guitar talk is so much better than CNN. Damn straight. I mean, come on, why do you guys watch CNN anyway? It's just gonna make you upset, right? All right, so I gotta get going here, guys. Um, can you play A major when it hangs on the A part? Um, you could, but the problem is, Slimy, is that you could. But what's gonna happen here is that it, it really, like, um, the A major is gonna have a regular four. Okay, and in this case, we're in the key of A, the A is Lydian. It means that the A scale should have a sharp four. And so uh, you could do it. Um, you could do it probably towards the end of the A because the A is starting to detach from it. But you could, and if it sounds good, cool. But if it sounds bad, you can always slide into, into the Lydian factor. Um, but it's worth a shot, you know? Um, oh, thank you. Whoa, okay. Uh, <laughs> That was great. This is awesome. I love I love YouTube. Um, you guys are awesome. And so what I'm going to do here, let's just see right here. Let's do this. Um, okay, there we go. All right, so um, yeah, I got to go. And I have more videos coming out. I have a lot of requests, and I'm very, very excited uh, to do them. It's just, uh, sorry, my thing, I got a computer glitched, and you did a Max Hedron. Nice. Um, how do you begin learning theory? I'll text you later. I have to go to dinner now. Okay, Dom, please do. Uh, begin learning theory by just, um, Alec, Honestly, can everyone answer this? Let's let's see how everyone does here. What's the most important scale in music? <laughs> wait, hold on, wait, sorry. Seems like, huh? It seems like whenever Guitar World magazine promotes a YouTube video, next thing you know, they get a hundred thousand subscribers. I think they've only promoted one of yours. They, I didn't know they promoted one of mine. Oh, there they go. Whoa, whoa, there it is. Major, 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 major scale, major scale. Learn your major scale, understand what a major scale is, and just like Jeff Good says right here, watch the stitch method, okay? Um, anyway, you guys are, uh, <laughs> Lucas, you funny man. All right, guys, all of you. Oh, my God, uh, Doggy, Slime Bread, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, have a great night. I got a lot of work to do right now, so I'm going to get on it, um, and uh, I'll see you guys next uh Next Thursday, I'm, I'm still deciding what my Tuesday video will be. You guys rock, and uh, thank you for spending so much time with me today, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.